Hello everyone, I'm Hazefest, and this is going to be a reshade video for Season 3 of Eden in 2025. I recently came back to Eden upon the request of several of my more uh, devoted fans, and when I got back in I realized my old reshade settings no longer work, so I'm going to put an updated written guide as well as this video onto the forums, and let's get into it. Um, I'll also make this available on my Google Drive, and I'll put a link down in the description below for that as well. Thank you for watching. All right, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to reshade.me. This will take you to the Reshade website, and there'll be a download option. You'll click that download option. You'll see a download for Reshade 6.5.1. You'll click that, and you'll download it. Once you download it, it'll be in your downloads. Go ahead and double-click on that. It's going to ask you to select a game or application. Um, Arcade Camelot is not going to be in here, most likely. So click Browse, go to your Dark Age Camelot folder, scroll down, select Camelot.exe. This is the application. If you're not sure if it's an e, uh, exe, right click, go to Properties. It'll tell you right here uh, application.exe as the type of file, and that's what you want. So you'll click Camelot.exe, you'll open, you'll see your file down here at the bottom in the path. You'll click Next. In this list, you're going to select Microsoft DirectX 9. Even if you're running DirectX 10 or 11 like I am, you'll still select 9 because this is a way older game. Hit Next. You'll get this page if you've already got reshade options installed from a previous installation or a previous attempt. For this, you'll select update reshade and effects. If you're doing a fresh install of reshade, you will not get this screen. You'll instead get the next screen. Click next. This is the screen you'll get if you don't have reshade already installed. So once we get to this screen, there'll be a list of things to click on here in my guide, which I have right here. Uh, we'll select these options by these people. So let's move this over to the side here. Move this over. Close this. Close this. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll go to Sweet FX by CJ. You'll scroll down here, we'll select Levels, Lift Gamma Gain, Luma Sharpen, SMA, and Vibrance. Next, we'll go to Legacy Effects. Choose Adaptive Sharpen, Ambient Light, Colorfulness, Fine Sharp. That'll be it for here. Scroll down quite a ways and find uh, color effects by by prod 80. And here we want to choose the PD8002 underscore cine tools underscore loot. And scroll down to ashtray and we'll choose clarity FX and radiant GI. Once you have all these selected, we're ready to go next. If you want to add additional things, you can do so at your discretion. However, these are the settings that work the well um, work well for Darkage Camelot. I know they work. They've been working for many, many years. These are the ones I recommend. You can do additional effects if you want, but it's just going to be a much longer installation and compile once you get into the game. And I don't recommend that. And some of them can even crash your game or slow it down. So. Once you're done, click Next. You'll see that it's pulling all of these selected items down from the GitHub server. Once they've been installed, 
It's going to ask you if you want to become a Patreon. Just click finish. Now that that's done, let's go to Eden. We're going to launch Eden. At the top of your screen, you're going to see a reshade um, thing pop up. It's going to have a progress bar that goes across the top. And depending on your computer, it may be fast or slow. Mine was fast, as you saw. So now that we're in the game, we can press the home screen. The uh, information will still be at the top. It'll load for a while. It'll say press home to get started. Once you come to the home screen, you'll get here. If you're opening this for the first time, there's going to be a, uh, a little menu that with some text that says, do you want to do the tutorial or do you want to skip the tutorial? If you want to do the tutorial, go ahead and do that. I don't do that because I don't really need it because I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, once you decide to finish the tutorial or skip, you'll get to this screen here. And it'll look like this with all these different options here. None of these will be checked, by the way. So it'll just be a list of a bunch of grayed out options. And some of these are legacy effects. Some of these are stuff are things you can't skip when you install. And it'll be all the stuff that you selected as well. So what I recommend is go back down through the list. Pull it up again. Not, not this. Not that silly. These reshade settings, here we go. Uh, we'll go back through and we'll click on levels. Lift gamma gain, SMA, vibrance, adaptive sharpen, colorfulness, ambient light, fake motion blur, fine sharp, uh, in the game, it's going to be prod80 underscore zero two underscore cine tools loot. This one here. And clarity and radiant GI. So once you have all these turned on, you should see things in the background change colors and whatnot. Um, once you have all these selected, you'll be ready to get into the game and do stuff. But before we move on, right now we're on the home screen at the top. If we pull this bar at the bottom up, you'll see all the different options and stuff that we've installed. And you'll see a bunch of data and sliders and all kinds of things at the bottom. If this is overwhelming to you, you can just run the defaults and then click collapse all at the top right. It'll just bring them all uh, into a nice little list and you can click on each one individually and play with it once you're in the game and you can move the sliders around and see how it changes the different ways that you see the game so let's get into the game and see what this looks like um, one other thing before we do that go to your settings tab in the settings tab you have three things you want to change at the very top one is your overlay key. This is the home button that opens and closes your reshade menu. You can leave it as home or you can change it. You can change it to like shift home, control shift home, something like that. Something you won't abs uh, accidentally press because with the home screen open, you can't interact with the game. So change the overlay key to whatever you'd like. Change the effect toggle key. This is your on off button. So if you want to turn your reshade on and off to see the difference, you can do so at your leisure. And then the effect reload key is if you're having any graphical problems or any issues, you can just click whatever button you set for this to reload your effects and it should fix whatever problem you're having. All right, with all that set and done, into the game we go. I'm just going to hop on to my level one nightshade here. I've got her parked in Magmel so that we can see the difference 
of what this looks like. So here we are in Magmel. We have a reshade turned on. And you can see that things look a little weird. So this is the game with reshade. I have fake motion blur turned on and stuff like that. So if I turn it off, this is the game that is originally Dark Age of Camelot. This is what the area looks like. Okay, turning reshade on. This is what the game looks like now. You can see that uh, the textures are there. We go into first person mode. You can see that the armor is completely crazy looking. This is normal. This is with extra detail with everything turned on. And you can even go into the game menu. Here's the ground. Original high text. Uh, the colors look different. Everything looks crazy. If we go into the menu here. Uh, I'm going to turn motion blur off. And I'm going to turn the Cine tools off. And you can see like the color changes quite a bit. So you can go in here. You can turn fine sharp on. Uh, for fine sharp, I like to actually reduce the, the the amount. Because this is the default amount. You can go even further up. And it gets really crazy looking. But it's like putting bold on all the outlines. Which I don't really like. So I like to keep this a little bit low. Or you can even turn it off. Move this slider all the way to zero if you want. Uh, colorfulness is the color saturation. You can move this around. You can see it gets way more vibrant. Or you can do it all the way down and get way more washed out. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with these sliders. And it, you can see it all happen in real time. And if you, for, for any reason, mess up and don't like what you made the change to, you can always select Reset All to Default for each individual thing. So each one of these FX... You can just reset that one thing back to default. And then you can play with it again from the default setting and get you whatever you like your setting to be. So if you mess up, it's an easy fix. So go through all your settings. I'm not going to tell you what exactly to put as your settings because each person's computer is different. Each person's monitor is different. So... Um, Play around with it, see what you like, see what you don't like. Maw puts little outlines on things, kind of highlights those. Vibrance, lift gamma gain. You can just go through and turn all these on and off and see what they do. And see if you want to keep those particular things on or off. The colorfulness is what gives you that vibrant color. Um, if you're playing in Midgard and there's a lot of snow, you may want to change that value because it's probably pretty bright. Probably looks like you got a flashbang every time you go outside. Uh, clarity helps you see, gives like a, gives like your torch effect that it reaches so much farther, kind of a thing. Uh, ambient light is around you, it like extends your torch a little bit. Adaptive sharpen gives you like a crisp, uh, fine detail on things all the way in the distance as well. So there's a lot of really cool things. You can even go through and look at all the older stuff as well. The things that I didn't mention. You can do Find, uh, find Sharp Mode 2, Mode 3. You can do all these in curves, whatever that does. I don't recommend all these other ones because I don't really know what they do too much. And some of them, if you turn them on, may crash your computer or lock you up. Which is why I don't... I don't mess with the stuff that I don't really know. So you can go through all of these options, see what works for you. Uh, after you go through and click out all of your options at the top, there's a button that says active to top. When you click that, it just moves all the stuff that you have selected all the way to the top. That way it's all in one spot and then you can bring the uh, divider all the way up so that you can see all of your uh, processor effects here at the bottom and then uh, you're good to go Hit your home button whatever you set that to and enjoy the game it looks so much prettier with all of these options enabled and uh, just play around with it it might take you a couple days to uh, tweak it to right where you want it to make the game look 
as uh, fantastic as it can on your setup. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. That's what I found for the latest version of Reshade and getting it to work for Dark Age Camelot. If this video was helpful to you, like and subscribe. I may put out more videos for things like pushing recorder as far as it'll go without breaking the rules. Uh, maybe I'll do some more map stuff later. I'm not sure. Uh, I definitely am going to do some gameplay videos of me just enjoying Dark Age Camelot leveling, doing some RVR, things like that. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do uh, with this season. But right now I'm just playing the game, enjoying it, and having a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the forums and in the game.